Ah, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's a great day. You know why? Because we are alive and well. You're looking at the survivor. I survived Madame Beryl. We're giving her a title, Madame Beryl. People, Manalai, she was scary. She was a force to be reckoned with. This is my first hurricane and I don't know what others have been like. My father has been few, to, uh, through a few hurricanes and him said, this one you put Ivan to shame. So for you, or you guys who are familiar with how Ivan operated, then that's the comparison. Me not have no comparison, none. All I can tell you, she, she was something else. But truth be told, I was prepared mentally to deal with, um, with Hurricane Beryl. Didn't know what to expect because I've never been through this before. But I kept a positive mindset and I said, you know, I already prayed and I already had the confidence. I'm in the house and by myself, by the way, I had the confidence that all will be well. That's my favorite. It is well. It is well. And let me tell you, it felt like it would be well. It felt that it should be well, and it felt like it was going to be well. And I can declare to you right now, it is well. So that being said, we have a little bit of destruction, you know. But what I'm doing right now is celebrating life. And my heart, by the way, goes out to those who have loss of life, loss of property, loss of, you know, any kind of loss. It can be difficult. But the great thing is we can spring back. But like I said, if anybody's suffering from um, any other loss, you know, my um, sympathy goes out to you. So for today, what we're going to do is uh, take a walk and I'll show you some, some of the images from the storm. Um, you ready? All right, let's go. All right, folks, so let's take a walk. We're gonna head down um, to the beach. You can see the tree them pop down. Nice palm tree them. Still hanging. Touch tree not going anywhere though. They can take a whipping. I could tell you some stories. All right, so you can hear the majestic sea. Oh yeah, let's see what an aftermath of what Miss Beryl left over here. Okay. All right. See her there? Happen. You guys heard of Sandal South Coast? That's them in the background there. And that's the shoreline. Coming closer up to where we are right now. So you know we have to give thanks in the peeps. That's the way I look at it. We have to give thanks because I'm telling you. She came with one piece of strength. It made me understand just how strong Mother Nature is. That sometimes we just have to just humble ourselves. Taurus Riley has a song called The Great Equalizer and came out with that when COVID um, happened. 
and the idea is prior to let's say a natural disaster or any type of disaster some people might think they're on a high level some people might think I'm on a low level but you see burial and I apologize for the wind to you guys you see burial when she come it was the great equalizer all of us all of us had to sit behind down and take notice of nature doing her thing and you could only hope and pray that you get through it men know says some people like i went to the corner shop you know and you know jamaicans funny you know our jamaican people funny bad so i'm there buying a couple of things and the guy said we see him have some red bull you pick up some rum you pick up a few snacks some sardine and something all right, now one more stop me have to make you know, you know. He said, I have a couple pound of weed. I may have to pick up my Rizla. I'm pick up some, um, what the other something name? Oh, the mercy. Found the weed connoisseurs, you don't know what I talk about. Grabber, that's it. And he said, you know what, nothing else. So, Mr. Pussy, I'm very lucky to happen. You're not even going to remember none of it. We had a good laugh. But trust me, last night I thought about him and for all the other people who had their, their, their things, it was needed last night. It was rough. It was rough and amazing. I realized something bigger than man made. Okay, we're not saying that the result of such a catastrophic type of an event that man now have a little bit of something to do with the influence of it. We're not going to get into those conversations. We're not touching that right now. We're just touching on the fact that it was quite an event. Sort of like movies. Except it wasn't a movie, it was real life. So we just have to give respect. Respect do. Thank you. Something bigger than us. And we're glad that we're still here. I have not, at the time of this recording, I have not watched the news because light is out, power is out. Can barely get internet. Internet is on only for emergency purposes. Um, so I don't, I don't even know what the rest of the country look like. So if I'm speaking as if I have no knowledge. It's because I don't. I don't know what's going on there. I'm only showing you my little piece of, of my experience and what I'm seeing on this end. So we just give thanks that we're here. We're alive. We can tell the story and we can document this one. Yeah. Made it. Definitely made it. So just going to give you a little bit more I'm probably just gonna walk down just just a short walk just go down to like by the tree and then come back up and um, then I'll see you shortly Get rid of this mess. 